tallest tower and he would ascend Now none of eight is sight throughout the land His power was perfected in this temple he erected No forever insurrection could be crushed beneath his hand And with his mighty voice he would amend This riddle so we could not comprehend Babylon All right, I don't have a ton of time today, so I'm just going to jump right in. <clears throat> the ferry quickly begins you across uh, Island Island after asking around. You're right, it's time. What? Um, oh, you just... Oh, I, I, I have an appointment at one, so there's a good chance I won't have time to look through many solutions, but... We'll see. Uh, boat race is open to the public. Grand prize is an all-expensive pay trip to Desert Island. Sand comes from. Best of all, boat race starts in just a few minutes. You manage to find us to put it in the boat race just in time. The organist brings it all a real traditional race. You will get a fixed amount of time. Remember, your boat to travel as far as it can. Even if it goes farthest. Uh, you get a sheet of paper that lists the time allowed for each race, also the best distance ever recorded in that race. To guarantee to win the grand prize, needs to make sure to go further in each race than the current race holder. Make sure the area where the boat are held. Toy boats. Holding down a button charges the boat, and releasing the button allows the boat to move. The time spent holding the button counts against the total race time. Okay. Um... In milliseconds and millimeters, nice. Um, yeah, we just hard code this. Um, uh, I know you can't see this, but I'm just making a file real quick. Um, what was it? Time? Times? And then distance. I mean, you're not wrong, actually. Hard coding is bad, but I also uh, do not care. Yeah, yeah, fix the formatting. There we go. Um, starting speed is 0 millimeters per second for each whole millisecond to spend at the beginning of a race. The boat speed increases by 1. Oh, this is simple fucking trig. Like, this is this is the, the shit I teach to, to my students. Um, because the first race lasts seven minutes, I only have a few options. Don't hold it at all, it will never move. Uh, hold the one for a moment at the start of the race, then the boat will travel a speed of one. Yeah, let's see four different ways. Oh, the way number of ways you can beat the record, which is always. Okay. Uh, nice. Perfectly what I want people to look at. Um, so you can only ever go um, I'm thinking of a few ways. So, so first of all um, This is a very naive approach. Um, you know, you just you just simulate every single milliseconds. Um, the minimum will always be one. There's no sense in doing zero. It's completely useless. And then you have a time you charge, and then you know how long you go for, because you can get a speed. 
Uh, and the minimum time would be... Uh, the maximum... So if you charge for... If you need to go 9... Uh, so if you go for 7, the maximum speed you can go is 7. But that's not really... It makes no sense. When, what I'm trying to say makes no sense. Uh, T is in non-exclusive, so that's good. So, like, my idea is, like, okay, you have 30, but you need to go 200. So you need to do at least 200 over 29. What are the problems? Oh, yeah, whatever. Um, which is, like, you know, that should be something like 6. So it would be minus, minus that. So, because we need to travel for at least 7 seconds. Um, I'm pretty sure none of this is required because it might not save a ton, but actually the actual input might be pretty big. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so we need to travel, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, well, it's seal. Is that actually a standard call? I thought seal. Um... Distance over T minus one. Um, oh yeah, because it's um, oh I can might as well just do this like races. Here. Ah, uh, one second. Oh, thanks, Asish. Yeah, I just had to grab a tissue real quick. Um, yeah, and then it's um, 30,200. So it's uh, T, comma, D in races. D. So. This is the amount of time we're going to be charging. So let's do charging. Um, so speed, or this is this will be speed, right? Because it's linear. Yeah, three milliseconds. Yeah, so it's basically this times this. <laughs> so what is it like? If speed times T minus speed. Um, above, it needs to be above, right? Yeah, uh, above D, print. Let me just print it real quick. Just to know I'm not stupid, which I probably am. Yeah, two, three, four. That sounds right. So why? Why is five not correct? Oh, uh, it needs to be four. It doesn't go uh, far enough. Yeah, there we go.
Um, so that's what is it like wins? Uh, what is the actual thing we do? No, blah 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 blah. Multiply them together. Yeah, so it's. What are you what are you complaining about? So what two eight eight? Sounds about right. Right, uh, actual inputs. Why is today so easy? I don't get this. I mean, yeah, I don't like hard coding, but um, considering your puzzle input never changes, there's like zero reasons to actually hard code this. Uh, oh yeah, no. Horrible, horrible formatting. Thankfully, we have there. I'll enter. Today's to rest days, <laughs> so you can so you can actually so you can actually finish running the brute force. <clears throat> Uh, basically, what's hard to use is a piece of paper with race times of pronouns. It was actually fair, but kerning. There's only one race. Ignore the spaces. So now it's that. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh. My bad, it's already done. There we go. That was easy. What the fuck is this day? <laughs> what what the hell? <laughs> this this makes no sense. It's just okay. No, of course not. Because this this number is very some very small. Like I'll do a tiny bit of refactoring so I can actually do this properly. Um. But like, come on. I mean, to be fair, technically I don't do an actual, actual brute force, but I get pretty close. I'm like running a slightly less range. That's an 01 puzzle? How are you not done yet? My man, I'm, I've, I've finished. Ah, oh. <laughs> beat after by eight seconds. <laughs> uh. 
I'm pretty sure reading the exercise took longer than anything else. Ah, nice. Did you do brute force? Yeah, I did. I, I can quickly go over my solution real quick. Um, for every pair in races, for every speed, start with one because zero will never work. Yeah, I hard coded my inputs because why the fuck wouldn't I? Uh, the only thing I do is that I realize that if you. Um, the maximum speed you could possibly get is 40. With while actually still traveling, so if you do two four nine divided by forty, that's the minimum amount of time you would have to possibly uh, travel. Oh, <laughs> you're technically right, actually. Um, I, I'm actually not gonna care. Um, yeah, so that's the one optimization I make is that you there there's like a minimum amount of you would have to travel with the maximum speed you would get. That's but the thing is, you can you can probably like do this in the um, a proper expression anyway, and then you get the O one solution that Hamster mentioned because you're just doing um, like the, the the minimum amount of time you'd have to charge, and the maximum time of time you'd have to charge, and that's that's your range because everything in between will always win. Um, I don't want to. I didn't just didn't want to have to think about that. Because what would your minimum amount of travel time would have to be? I mean, you're 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 solving this equation basically, um, where it equals, which is just do a binary search. <laughs> What is O1? Uh, o, O1 is that it's the big O notation. It means that um, no matter how big your input, it'll always be the same amount of time to calculate it. When you can have two points. Yeah, but calculating which points they are is always constant time. It's, yeah, technically it isn't because your input, but like as it trends to infinity, it doesn't cost more time to calculate those points. Um, but yeah, so you're just solving, um, basically, what is it? Yeah, speed times t minus speed. So this is like x minus x times t. Uh, sorry, times uh, t minus x equals uh, d. That's what you're solving, and that that just becomes uh, x t minus x squared uh, minus d equals zero, and this is just a quadratic equation. So trivial, and that then you just do you know standard quadratic equation. Yeah, no, that's what I kind of was expecting to do for it to be acceleration, but even then, it's not very difficult because. Um, Speed at any point equals uh, v times a t, so a distance equals zero point five a t squared. So even that wouldn't really be very complex, um, frankly. But it would be a little more complex. Yeah, I'm not like for not brute forcing. I don't know, it would have been nice if there was a way to have it like modulate. Like it's a more complex function. Um, but I'm not sure. How is your brute force solution still running? Of, of this day? How? <laughs> Actually, how? I, I don't even need this, by the way. Um, I could just remove this call by doing this. Oh, pretty sure it still gets me the same results. Yeah. E 
posted it. Let me take a look. I have about half an hour before I have to leave. Wait. Dumb solution because people were not able to comprehend the power of brute force. What the actual fuck? <laughs> oh, nice. This is, uh, this is O-cubed. Perfect. Um, I mean, um, uh, square and square. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've got driving lessons in a few, a few and a half an hour. That's that's wonderful. I love it. I, I this is so terrible. <laughs> you just do use a for loop to do addition. <laughs> that's so, so boneheaded. Oh, that's wonderful. This is what the beta testers must have done. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. What the fuck is going on here? Um, yeah, this this sounds like a perfect day one. Yeah, there you go. Only like 1,500 people haven't solved it. Yeah, I saw this one on, on the on the Reddit. It's like the days, the difficulty this year has been all over the place. And I've convinced two people to try Advent of Code this year. And it's been a fucking, fucking roller coaster ride for them. It's, it's horrible. It's like... Oh yeah, it's this fun puzzle thing with like a nice gradual difficulty curve, and then just like this year just smacks everyone down. I um I actually hate it because it makes people so much less likely to actually do do this shit. Um, I hope I feel free. Basically, all parsing of multiple solutions in brute force works quickly. Um, the thing is here that like. <sighs> I, I would have loved for them to see just an insanely stupid inputs here. Um, because this is one of those days where, yeah, just make brute forcing like stupidly difficult. And then people have to implement something like, say, um, parallelize it or, um, uh, or do, or figure out the quadratic equation. Uh, anyway, I'm glad to, to see that I have top spot back here. And I kept second place here. To Dennis? Yeah. Would Dennis have overtaken me? Delta's five points. No, we were equal. Dennis made the... Um, he beat... Uh, I mentioned that if he beat Max... Uh, sorry, if I beat... Jack? No, but he got beaten as well. Okay, yeah. So um, if Dennis would have beaten Jack and Hamster, then he would we would have been tied. Play the difficulty all over the place. Yeah, no, no, exactly. It is, it is genuinely an issue because for me it was perfect, always a perfect tool to learn a new language. And now, and now you're kind of like, you know, it's the standards of like, here's a very fun YouTube video, and it turns out to be hot garbage, but a lot worse because like just you're investing actual time here. Um, anyway, I want to quickly look at your day, to day six, just so my brain keeps working. Imagine not knowing how parabolas work. Yep. No, you just do. Perfect thing. Yep. You do the old one solution. But I... I didn't see that brute forcing would have worked for part two. But I kind of hoped it would. <laughs> Minus loader... What? Minus lower boundary dot is integer. Oh... Um, what? Minus lower boundary dot is integer. What do you need that call for? I am... Can he... It won't show me what this call is. Oh, I see. Yeah. Over and over equal. I see. No, actually, that's kind of clever. Um, that's true. And then you just take us as a Boolean. No, that's actually clever. Oh, 
I'm thinking if there's a way. Yeah, you could have. This is the best way to do that, which is, I think is pretty neat. I wonder what the uh, epsilon it uses for this is. Probably very, very small. Anyway, what do I remember about day five? Uh, it's a lot of lines. How many lines did I have for day five? Okay, like 62. Oh, no, exactly right. Well, it, you're still doing a for loop, but it's a single for loop. And yeah, it's a, it's a single, it's a single calculation, actually. The only thing is that it, that it involves uh, squaring. That's like the one complicated thing there. But uh, like you said, this is trivial for modern CPUs. Uh, what did you do? See through map. Oh my. Okay, so you do. Yeah, you just map everything. Wait. Yeah, you just break. You know, you can just return here, right? You can just return this. There's no need to reassign and then break. Intersecting lines. What are you doing? I... So long as for segmented segments. I need to... I, I'm not sure what I think gets input in there. Um, this is already horrendous parsing. How much did I take... The, did it take me to parse this again? Oh, yeah, it's, it's two lines. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> the hell is this? Between brute force and optimization. I think... I There was a guy that solved it on, on this GPU. Um, like the brute force solution, which I think is pretty cool. I know, I know, because this keeps being in there. It's ass. I... Like, you can just... I, I don't like this. It's two lines. It's two lines. Is it true, actually? Am I lying? Okay, I'm lying. It's slightly more lines. It's like seven lines. Um... I think it's also my it's also partially because I use arrays that I didn't really need to. I'm actually not sure. It could have could have sped up things, but I'm not super sure. Um, the only thing I use NumPy for is an array, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't needed in the end. I also think that the solution probably is is faster without it. Because I first thought about using like matrix math and mapping, and that in the end didn't need didn't need to do that. Uh, just hard coded the parsing, which is also fair. Um. Anyway, I don't have a ton of time left. For range and lens seeds, yeah. So you have. Yeah, the actual ranges. Oh, you do start and end. That's also fair. I do uh, start and range. Because that's easier for my a tiny brain. For okay, so Mincy, that's whatever. No one cares. That's that's trivial. Um, <laughs> oh look, it's back. Um, see through map. I mean this okay so yeah this is this is a map type so that's like an a to b thing and this is a single seed range oh oh jesus christ <laughs> 
I hate this so much. Oh my god. There's just so many if statements. Also, it's, okay, it's not that not that many if statements, but it's just very unreadable. Um, but I think it's also just. I mean, it's not. It's not bad to do it this way. It's just that it adds a lot of syntax length. I mean, for my solution. I mean, let me actually see if I can put them side to side. Oh, how can I do that in a way that isn't utterly disgusting? If I do it this way, how will that look? This is how it also looks on my end, by the way. Can you go away? There we go. Yeah, so this is what I what I have. Is there a black line in the middle on, on stream? No, perfect. Yeah. But because I make them shorter, it's a little more readable. Um, the benefit of me having sorted the ranges beforehand is that I can break, and I know that there's no way that there's a later range that will overlap, which is nice. But I mean... What do you do with the extra bits if you have a remap that is... <laughs> Just malloc your, your arrays. And if less than seed range, zero. Uh, what is what is remap actually contain exactly? That's you, which is a map type in maps. And new map is. I hate this. It's unreal. Okay, so it's just destination source length. Yeah. I find this very difficult to read. So the start is less than source plus range minus one. Oh, if it's within that, yeah. Hey there, Dennis. Impotent the puzzles made no sense of destination being zero. I found like the destination source range syntax to be a bit confusing, but I don't think there's really Anyway, they could have made that clear. Like it was just a day of reading comprehension. There was no no avoiding that really. Um But we're basically doing the same thing, but why do you need more if statements? Cause source There's a hidden tool tab on that ordering. Oh really? Don't those only get revealed after everything is done? Because um, one of the things that happens with previous years is... Um, no, I need to go to, like, dear. If you go to, like, any of the days, sometimes there's little... Um, yeah, like this. Gets added. Oh, you see the source code. Uh, equals. <laughs> That's not the one. Don't blame me for the weird order. Blame LCX container <laughs> UID mappings. <laughs> nice. So yeah, this is probably something that would actually be uh, highlighted uh, after after you finish the the whole year. Neat. Uh, anyway, I would like to take a look at some other people's proper solutions for today. Uh, a lot of people finished it already. So I have... Okay, I'm going to look at, like, I don't know, a few random ones. I need to put the new rain six and remove from the existing. But, I mean, intersections shouldn't be... 
um, intersections shouldn't exist. But I think it's it's something I thought about looking up because it's always a one to one mapping. So for for two things to end up in the same range, wait, actually, that's not true. No, my bad. They can and they can overlap. Um, I considered it and then we, then I thought it's probably not going to be relevant enough because the amount of numbers can never grow. It can only become smaller in that case. So like, mm, I wonder what the impact actually is of that. I know there was a guy that made a visualization so that maybe could have answered the question a bit more. Any, any of a, let me, boop, boop, boop. No, no, you're right. You you can get new intersections. You're very you're you're correct there. I was wrong in stating that that uh, was impossible. Um, and I thought about that, but then I was like, how relevant is it going to be? Because you can't really generate more numbers. Um, Kotlin, hey, All right, ten minutes is what I have left. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do the same thing that I do. You do t divided by two. Why do you do t divided by two? Is that really the maximum? Oh, it's symmetrical. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, part two is just, yeah. Doing, pretending it's text. Disgusting. I, I do two times, yeah. Two times I. Wait. Times equals, oh, yeah, yeah I see, yeah. No, that's actually, that's, that's, that's smart. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, nothing much to say here. It's just, uh. Same thing kind of everyone does. Man. 14 lines of code. Disgusting. Oh, in theory, what I can then do... Another episode of sex is with the emergency replacement. Could, could, could be. Um... I think you can, once you find the first number, because it's symmetrical, you can just quit out and return. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, that's exactly what Suffusion does here. Yeah, yeah so you, you quit out, just return what's left to the middle. Yeah, no, that's that's clever. No, I don't think that's much interesting for today, but I'm so curious to see if uh, what people did. 1247, oh, you didn't upload anything yet. Um... Yeah, and Nix just does the proper brute force, but he's just a compiled language. It compiles like fucking instantly. Uh, Fortran. Oh, you know what? I'll do Fortran last uh, now, because that'll be the last one I look at then. I assume it's also not very, very interesting. Uh, allocate T hold max. Nice. And <laughs> the D allocated. No, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much interesting here. I mean, this is, I hate this. I hate the syntax so much. The parsing is, yeah, but that's the reason I didn't parse because it's like kind of annoying. But it, it's like the parsing isn't very interesting today, again. Um, it's just, because the logic is so trivial, there isn't like, see if you said, there isn't really anything interesting you can do. Before he sees your argument. Is there a parsing interesting? Fine, I'll take a quick look. Oh, nice. That's horrible. It's not interesting, but it's there. Fine. It's, this, this, is, this is terrible. What do you do for two? Oh, you have an actual function. <laughs> this is. 
why why is there so much code for parsing i mean i get it but even in python this would have been like what two lines of code because i mean it's what's the actual input parsing uh, format yeah split on this strip then just do dot split or no just even do dot split and just discard the first entry and then for part two you just do um quote uh, empty quotes dot join and then the array and then you're there does it have to be this difficult but i do like the syntax of split ones you can do it here as well you can do um uh split comma count to zero but it's kind of a pain yeah exactly what 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 after shows it's completely trivial um what do you do what the fuck now this now now we're uh now we're truly cooking good god <laughs> That's so ass. Love it. Love it. Pure, amazing coding. <laughs> it's like there's hard coding, and then there's like. like <laughs> um, there's a few ways of hard coding, and I think I like this one the least. Oh, man. Uh, part one is uh, not interesting. Run breaking at what does that do? What is this kind of syntax? I think the um, uh, the uh, the GitHub coloring is a bit broken for Kotlin. Oh, it's a naming. Oh, yeah, because you can. Break out of named for loops. I remember that. Uh, I don't like that syntax. It's unclear what it actually is. So what do you do? So for... Jane... Oh, you know it's too high. No, that's <laughs> nice. Uh, where does Minlock get referenced? I know it's nine 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 nine. Give me Minlock. Okay, uh, this is just completely broken. Yeah. I don't use Min in part two. No, but I'm I'm trying to see where this is even used. I see it here. Oh, this is just your your minimum location. This is just why why don't you just use like integer dot infinite or something like that or float dot infinite? That's what what you should use. Um, positive infinity. Okay. Uh, just health nine. Jesus Christ, horrible. Um, yeah. So what do you do here? So for zero to that, you just go go backwards i hate it wait uh, too long it's it's not wrong but it's also kind of disgusting Oh, so this is a range. Oh, okay, I see. I see the syntax. But where does next? What what is next here? Oh, Jade two string. I see it's over there. Them saying too low, too high is cheating. They um they sometimes say it's just not the right answer. I think they also stop giving you too high, too low hints after a while. Um, after like five or five attempts or so. Why is it a why is it a string? I hate that.
Okay, so to give yourself a night Bruce first boundary. That's that's true. But that's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's a big issue. Um, but I have to go though. Um, I hate it. It's horrendously brute forcey. The fact that it completes well, this took forever to run, right? So that's fair. That uh, it's disgusting. You should be punished for this. All right. Um. Uh, two minutes. Oh, yeah, because this is like, what, 300 million? Like 100 million, I mean? Yeah, that's not even too bad. This is paralyzed? Because that, that could, in theory, be paralyzed. Actually, can it be? I'm not sure. It breaks out once it finds the answer. He never. I don't have time! I'm sorry! I have to go. I just want to check the leaderboard once more. Anything changed? Nope, still 58 seconds. Only leaderboard that matters, because I'm winning on it. That's it. That's the only reason. All right. Cheers, everyone. I'll uh, see you later.